Well, hello, lovely tappers. Here I am again, my monthly live feed here on Facebook. Today we are going to be talking about how to beat the boredom binge because I know from a lot of my weight loss clients and also from my own journey with weight loss and my relationship with food, boredom is a huge trigger. It is something that makes us crazy for biscuits, cake, cheese, wine, whatever it is, that is your vice of choice. If you're anything like me, then you probably have way more than one vice of choice and quite happily shove anything in your face that's lying around the kitchen when you're bored. But before we get into talking about boredom, hi Daisy, before we get uh, into talking about boredom binging, I'm feeling a little bit low energy today, a little bit tired, so I thought we could just start with a little bit of tapping to raise our vibration, raise our energy. So feel free to tap along with this, it's probably more for me than it is for you really, but you know, you might get some benefit out of it, tap along, it might resonate with you. It's Sunday, who doesn't feel a little bit tired on a Sunday, right? So you don't need to know the tapping points, just follow me and let's see if we can't wake me up and also wake you up if you're feeling a little bit sleepy and low energy on this Sunday. So the first point we're going to tap is just here on the side of the hand, then we're going to move to the top of the head like this, then we've got the inner eyebrow, the side of the eye, underneath the eye. Be careful with this part of your face, you know, it's delicate. I don't want any black eyes because that would not do my marketing any good. Thank you very much. Uh, tapping under the nose. And then on the chin. Next point is the collarbone. You can do either collarbone, doesn't matter which side of your face or your body you tap. Just tap in the right sequence and you're good to go. The next point is under the arm, so if you are wearing a bra, ladies, gents, it is the year 2016, we are all entitled to be wearing a brassiere should we want to, um, so just where your bra would be underneath your arm there, and then just tapping your wrists together like this. So as I said, we're just going to start with a little bit of tapping for energy, um, I'm going to tap specifically on what's going on for my body, but I would invite you, if you're watching this, whether it's live or whether you're watching the replay version, to just take a moment now and, hi Jodie, uh, just take a moment now and take a nice deep breath and just check in with your body in general and see how you're feeling. For me, right now, my kind of energy just feels a bit low and I kind of feel it in my head. I don't know why, um, but that's the great thing about tapping is we don't have to know why. So take a moment and check in where you, if you're feeling slightly low energy right now, where are you feeling that in your body or where do you see it in your body? Um, I'm going to give mine a colour. Hello. Uh, I'm going to give mine a colour and I can tell definitely that this feeling is very grey and it in my mind, I kind of see it as being like a grey cloud, like just over the right hand side of my head. So that might sound really strange for anybody who's never done any of this crazy tapping stuff before. But for anyone who's worked with me, you'll know that it can get really weird. So we just go with whatever comes up. Uh, take a moment and find out where in your body you're feeling kind of energetically a little bit sticky or stuck right now. Uh, allocate that area and once you've found the area of your body that's feeling a bit me, see what colour you might think is in there and also if it looks like anything or feels like it's got shape or anything. Okay, so here we go. As I say, I'm just going to tap on what I'm feeling in my body but please replace the words with your specific words. Make it as specific to you as possible. Remember, people can only see me, so uh, don't worry if you start bubbly snot crying or anything. It's absolutely fine, it's all just energy shifting, just stick with it. Okay, so we're just gonna start by tapping on the side of the hand and just repeat after me. Even though I've got this gray foggy cloud, it's above the right hand side of my head, it looks a bit like a sponge, but I accept myself anyway. Even though, feeling a little bit low energy, feeling a little bit tired, and a little bit heavy. But that's okay, and I accept myself anyway. 
even though I've got this grey cloudy sponge and it's up above the top of my head. I accept myself anyway. This grey cloud. This grey cloud above my head. This weird tapping stuff. I have no idea what this is meant to do. But apparently it works. So I'll give it a go. This tapping. This grey energy. This grey sponge. I know it's very weird. I know. <laughs> and take a nice deep breath again. Okay, so luckily for me, because I do this quite a lot, <laughs> yes I do, every day, um, mine has shifted and I actually feel much better now, but uh, for you guys, if you're feeling like you're still feeling a bit, little bit squiffy, then feel free to keep tapping. Uh, you can even just tap whilst I'm chatting away, and then if anything that I say resonates with you, we're just kind of clearing it as we go. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I hope that that cleared something for you. Things shift really quickly for me because as I say, I do this a lot. So my body's like, oh, she's tapping. Oh, okay. I'm good. Right. So let's tackle this nasty little boredom binge. For me, I noticed that uh, when I would know that I was going to be on my own, for example, if my lovely other half was going to be out for the evening, I would preempt it and I would almost look forward to uh, having that time alone so that I could load up on crisps and sweets and chocolate, cake, etc. One of each food group as I like to think of it. Um, and I would get really excited about laying it out on the table and just devouring it all when he wasn't here. So the fact that I wouldn't behave like that when he's around goes some way to telling me that maybe there was a bit of a problem with my eating habit. <laughs> um, and the fact that I would only eat like this when I was on my own just showed me that I was ashamed, I felt guilty I actually thought it was quite disgusting the way that I used to do that um, I don't do that anymore, by the way just in case you're wondering uh, if this tapping stuff does actually work it really does, um, I no longer do that I don't load up on loads of sugary stuff when uh, I'm on my own I just kind of hang out and do other stuff um, what I want to ask you one of the things that I think is really important when we look at this idea of boredom binging is that when we're bored for me I tended to be on my own if there were other people around I generally wouldn't um, exhibit that kind of behavior around food I wouldn't just shove things in my face because obviously shame the shame um, but yeah so it tended to be when I was on my own and when I started using EFT and started tapping, I started to think about what is it about being alone that makes me feel like I need to eat crap? Uh, so I did some tapping on it. And when I say I did some tapping on it, I really mean what I just did at the beginning there. I did that like, OK, I'm on my own. I want to eat this food. How am I feeling? What's really going on for me in this moment right now? Very often I would figure out that I just didn't really want to be alone with my brain because my brain wasn't always very nice to me, it used to say quite mean things, um, not always about food, it could have been about anything in life and the more tapping I've done to resolve all of the nasty memories and unpleasant feelings that I've held on to and trauma from the past the more that I've resolved those things using EFT and matrix re-imprinting, the less horrible things I have for my brain to torture me with. So uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys watching this. If you've never done any of this crazy tapping stuff before, that's what it does. We focus in on the problem while we're tapping and breathing and the problem just doesn't bother us anymore. It doesn't really feel like a problem. Very often people will look at a traumatic memory and 
when they looked at it at the beginning of the session, they'll be saying, you know, possibly even crying because it's got so much emotion in it for them. And then by the end of the session, they move to a place of very often saying, it doesn't really feel like it was me anymore. Or, yeah, I remember it, but I don't really feel anything about it anymore. So when we no longer are carrying around all these horrible, kind of ugh, painful feelings anymore, we don't really need to eat to make ourselves feel better anymore. One of the things uh, that I also noticed was I was sometimes not actually hungry. Um, when I was on my own and I thought I was bored and I was blaming boredom, there were so many things that I could have been doing. <laughs> so hands up if you're one of those people who sits there going, oh yeah, but I'm really bored. Oh, well, I'll just have something to eat. But in the back of your mind, you're going, yeah, but you could be doing that thing that you've been saying you're going to do for ages. And, you know, you could go out for a walk or you could read a book or you could just do something else. And yet you choose food every time. And then you beat yourself up for not doing the thing that you should have been doing instead of eating. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it was just me who used to do that. Now, there are a number of reasons why we might do this. One of those reasons might be that we just really want to stay overweight. That could be a reason. Not consciously, but subconsciously. Maybe we feel safer with a little bit of extra weight on. The other reason for me <laughs> was, uh, as I say, because I didn't really want to be left alone with my brain. My brain was being mean to me and so I like to distract myself with the food. Um, and also when I would think about doing the things that I should be doing instead of eating, like, I don't know, going to the gym, going for a walk, I actually felt, <laughs> oh, I feel so bad to say this now, but I just used to think, oh, I can't really be asked. That was one of my big things. It's just, I just can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to go out and go for a walk or go for a jog. I'd, I'm just going to stay home and eat. And then I'd feel bad and beat myself up about it. I'd like for you to have a little think at this point about an area of your life. There may be more than one. But for now, let's just go with one. If there was one area of your life right now where you don't feel 100% happy, one area of your life that you try not to think about because it brings up kind of icky feelings or um, makes you beat yourself up a little bit. Maybe it's relationships. Maybe you're struggling in a relationship, romantic, family, friendship, could be anything. Maybe you've suffered a bereavement and ever since then you really struggle to um, just kind of say no to the Oreos. Uh, maybe it's you had a pregnancy and you had a traumatic birth. And ever since then, you've really struggled, again, to um, say no to food and to spend time on your own. Any of these areas of your life are totally valid. If you feel like you're holding on to trauma, then you're probably going to be boredom eating. I know that this can be quite hard to buy into if you've not done any of this mindset stuff before, but I promise you that once you start to clear these traumatic memories, you are going to see a shift in your weight and in your behaviour around food. The other thing that is really two questions I think um, I would advise you to ask yourself when you go to reach for the Pringles, when you just think, I'm just bored, I can't be asked to go out for a run, leave me alone, I'm just gonna sit here and eat instead and then beat myself up. The two questions are, which area of my life do I not wanna think about right now? Which area of my life am I trying to avoid thinking about or doing anything about right now because it just freaks me out too much? So that would be the first thing I would ask you to look at. The second thing that I would ask is, what do I really need? So when I now get uh, cravings or as I say, kind of that boredom feeling of like, yeah, I'm on my own. <laughs> kind of feel like maybe I'll just go and make some popcorn or whatever it is. I'm not hungry, so I'm not eating because I'm hungry, I'm eating for another reason. So when I stop and ask myself, what do I really need right now? I did it this afternoon actually, um, and my body just told me that I needed to have a little rest, so I had a little nana nap this afternoon. I had like a little hour's sleep on the couch curled up with the dog, um, it's beautifully sunny outside. And my brain was saying, you should be outside, you should be enjoying the sunshine. But then my body was saying to me, no, 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 please have a little rest, I'm so tired. And I did, and I felt so much better afterwards. 
So ask your body when you have those cravings or when you're feeling that need to board and binge, just ask your body, what is it that I really need? Go back to the beginning of this video and follow that little process of just checking in with your body and seeing where is it that I'm feeling this need to eat. I know these concepts again, as I keep saying, might be slightly strange for people who haven't worked with this tapping before. But when we start to listen to our bodies and what they really want, something really magical happens and we find that we don't actually need to eat that last biscuit. We don't need to have a whole packet of Rolos or whatever it might be. We don't need to eat the whole family sized bar of whole nut, which is what I used to do. Mm, whole nut. So take a moment, take a breath. When you're feeling like you need to just be shoving food in your face and you don't want to do it, take a moment and ask yourself, what is this really about? So let's just do a little bit of tapping um, right now. What I'd love for you to do is take a moment and just check in with yourself. Um, let me know in the comments as well if you're having any particular cravings right now, or if there's anything going on for you that you might like me to throw into the tapping. It takes a little while for the comments to actually reach me, so... You type and then it takes um, about 20 seconds or so for me to actually be able to see them. So I'm not ignoring you. Let's just take a moment to do a little body scan. Just want you to, you can close your eyes. I'm not going to because I don't want you staring at me with my eyes closed. Because then that would be like you're watching me sleep. And that, my friends, would be creepy. So take a nice deep breath and just check in. From the top of your head, I just want you to start casting your mind down your body shoulders all the way down the arms into the hands just take a moment and send focus inward all the way down the torso into the hips down the legs past the knees all the way into the feet and the toes and just take a breath and breathe into your body and just notice just listen what's really going on in there Sometimes this is even enough to just make me cry because uh, if I'm feeling particularly emotional about something, ladies, there may be hormones involved when this happens, I will warn you. Um, you know, when I'm feeling particularly emotional for whatever reason, when just paying attention to my body sometimes can be enough for me to uh, feel a little bit emotional, for me to actually shift something with tears or laughter or whatever. So when you found the area of your body that you feel like mm, that's a little bit of a problem area for me, I'm kind of feeling a little bit heavy there or a little bit stressed there or whatever it might be, I want you to just rate it 0 to 10. So 0 being actually there's nothing there, I feel perfect, and 10 being, oh my god, it's such an intense feeling, I feel like I'm going to burst. So just give me a little rating. If you want to type your rating in the comments, then please do. Uh, once you've given it that rating, just you can either type it in the comments or you can just keep it to yourself, write it down, whatever feels good to you. And all we're going to do is we're just going to do a little tap just to try and bring down this feeling of um, feeling like we have to eat all the time, feeling like a failure. Sometimes that's quite a big thing as well. And also you can kind of skim to the end of this video if you choose to rewatch it when you are actually reaching out on the boredom binge. Um, and just do this tapping bit at the end. But for now, whether or not you're feeling like you want to board and binge right now, let's just tap and see whether we can bring that intensity down a little bit. So I ran through the tapping points at the beginning of this live feed. Um, if you weren't with me, then don't worry, I'm going to be tapping with you. So you can see all of the points. I'm not hiding any. Um, and let's just do a little tap now. So let's just be tapping on the side of the hand. I'm just going to use the number eight as my intensity um, and I'm just going to say whatever comes into my head because that is how I work. I tend to work quite intuitively um, so let's just see what pops up. Okay, so just repeat after me and tap along. Even though I eat when I'm bored and then I feel ashamed and I feel guilty. I didn't want to eat that last biscuit. 
and I eat till I feel sick. But I accept myself anyway. Even though sometimes I feel really stressed when I think about food. Because I want to have a better relationship with it. I don't want to be so excited about being on my own with food. I wish I could just go for a walk or read a book instead. And I accept myself anyway. Even though I eat when I'm bored and then I feel ashamed and guilty. I binge eat when I'm bored. But maybe I can choose to love and accept myself anyway. Binging when I'm bored. This boredom binge. This feeling of guilt. Eating when I'm not hungry. I tend to binge when I'm alone. Why the hell did I eat that? Oh my God, I'm so ashamed. And then I end up in this spiral. The spiral of guilt and shame. I've become so used to ignoring what my body wants. I know I should drink more water. <laughs> I know I should exercise more. But I can't be asked. <laughs> I eat when I'm bored. I eat when I'm bored so that I don't have to think. I eat when I'm bored so that I won't beat myself up with my brain. It hurts to be alone with my thoughts. But binge eating is hurting me as well. Maybe I don't need to lead a life where I binge eat. Maybe I can find something else to do. And if I think about food when I'm bored Maybe I can just stop and ask myself, what do I really need right now? Maybe I'm just feeling lonely or sad. And maybe I don't need to know why I'm feeling lonely or sad. Maybe I can just pick up a book instead. And I've heard a big glass of water helps cravings too. Maybe there's no such thing as boredom. Okay, taking a nice deep breath for me, and if anyone would care to share um, their rating, zero to ten, that would be really nice to know whether you're feeling like the that feeling that we checked in with at the beginning of the tapping, whether that's kind of passed a little bit. 
uh, the number three is coming into my head, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. <laughs> I didn't even really know what I was specifically tapping on because I don't really border me anymore. But the amazing thing about tapping is that even if the subject that you're watching right now, even if that doesn't resonate with you 100%, there's always going to be something that you're working on subconsciously without even knowing. So it might be um, something that's upset you or stressed you out. And I do know there was something that happened just before I came on this video. Something had happened that had made me a little bit emotional. Um, nothing big, so please don't worry, people. I always get lots of messages after saying, I hope you're okay, which is so lovely. But don't worry, it was nothing big. Everything's fine. I'm just a sensitive soul, is all. Um, something happened and it made me feel a little bit upset and I kind of sucked it up, did a bit of tapping but probably wasn't thorough enough before I came onto the live feed and so even though we're tapping for boredom, binging and cravings, my emotions on this other subject have come down. That's how amazing tapping is, that's how easy it is, you don't even really have to know what you're doing for it to work. I mean, it's just the best thing ever. So um, just before we finish up today, I hope this has been even vaguely helpful for you. The reason that I do these live feeds is to give you all uh, an experience of tapping. It's also so that you can meet me in case you've been thinking, hmm, I've heard about this Noel girl. What's she all about then? Um, and if you're interested in working with me, then obviously please get in contact. You can go to my website, www.georginanoel.com or just message me through my Facebook EFT page. I'm pretty prompt at replying. I have a cravings workshop coming up really soon and it's the best kind of cravings workshop because it's online, which means that you can come and play no matter where you live in the world. As long as you have access to Wi-Fi and some kind of video device, whether it's your phone, laptop, whatever, you can come and play. It's only £12. It's the cheapest it's ever going to be because I am trial running some new software. And I'd love to see you there. I have pinned the post to the top of my page and it's going to be there for the next 24 hours. So, um, oh, what's this say? Uh, da, 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 something different. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, that feeling of I can't be asked. I think we can all relate to that. Sorry, I'm just reading the comments that are popping up. Um, yeah, so please take a look at my uh, event page for that Cravings Workshop if you're interested to know more. In the workshop, um, it's going to be an hour and a half and it's going to be a really, really small group of girls. And yes, Daisy, you can join us all the way from Australia. I have clients in Australia and it works just fine. Um, and what we'll be doing is in the workshop, you actually show up to your Skype or we're going to use a software called Zoom. Um, you show up to your laptop or your phone and you just bring your craved item with you. You pay £10 to attend and I've only got five places left. So if you are interested, please take a look at the pin post above this video in the next 24 hours. And I'm really excited to tap with you. Please come and play. I get very, very excited when people go from really craving something um, to a place where they look at it and they just go, eh, don't really want it anymore. When I used to do these workshops uh, face to face with a group of people uh, in the same room, they would very, I'd hold a bin at the door and people would just throw their chocolate and crisps and things into the bin on the way out because they just didn't want it anymore. So that's how powerful this stuff is. So come and play with me in October at my live online Tapping for Cravings workshop. I hope to see you there and I hope you've enjoyed this. Please share it with your friends if you find, if anyone might find it useful. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.